within a vision of creating an innocuous digital world. She works at Hola as a product designer and she has been building 10k designers too and she has been helping people turn into designers and yeah <laughs> she loves coffee and everything about food yeah and welcome you i welcome all the three judges for the day welcome you all Um, so, shall we begin with the session? We are uh, opening, I think we can begin. Okay. So, the first participant is Raksha, yes. Also, Rubini, uh, can we all switch on the camera? <laughs> if, it's, uh, if it's possible, I don't know. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, that'd be awesome, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. So, shall we begin? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so the first participant is Raksha. Raksha, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Am I audible? Yeah, yeah, you're audible. Okay. Um, should I share my screen? Yeah, you can share your screen. Go ahead. Okay, one second. Okay, and you have been made the presenter. Okay. Yeah. Um, let me know if it's visible. Yeah, it's visible. Okay. So. This is my design. Uh, I'll start with the landing page. So this is the landing page or the home page. So the criteria given to us was to have elements like upcoming events and uh, testimonials all in one page. And um, I have chosen to keep the design very minimalistic. So I've used, as you can see, I've used like two colors that is white and blue. So according to color psychology, um, blue symbolizes trust and growth. You want users to be able to trust what they see. And since this is a professional website, using too many colors could confuse the user. I've also uh, tried to include simple navigation, like a simple navigation bar, very minimalistic. And also I've tried to use a um, unique redirection button as well. And uh, this is the testimonial. And this is the info about uh, ICPLE SCP. So this is my landing page. Also, if you scroll, you'll be able to see all upcoming events below. And uh, this is my landing page. So moving on to the um, student branch submission form. Usually, when I am filling forms, I'd expect space. So I don't like my forms to be cluttered with uh, too many things around. I, uh, I need it to be spacious and I want to fill the form in a sort of hierarchy. So uh, I've tried to highlight the uh, forms, like uh, highlight tables, which the user clicks on. Also, since there were two forms given in the criteria, so once the, it, uh, it highlights the form that the user is actually filling. Also, it was told to us to keep the, uh, to ask users to log in before they submit the form. So I've tried to create a link that the user can log in and then the submit button will be active. So I tried to use a kind of hierarchy that tells the user step-by-step step what they are supposed to do. Um, moving on to the events. Um, events talk about journey. A journey of what took place and it's a sort of throwback into memories so i wanted to create a journey for the user so as they scroll they will be able to access like they'll be able to see um, what the what are the events that took place throughout um, like in 2021 they'll be able to see all the events and uh, upon scrolling they'll be able to see events of the past years so i wanted to create a journey so i've also you know mentioned the uh, 
call to action here they, they can scroll and see the event so that's my events page and uh, now it's the contacts page i've tried to keep this page as simple and informative as possible i've divided the contact details uh, and i've divided the contact details and the contact information so that the user knows in what order he or she has to follow and uh, yeah this is my design yeah awesome dude awesome raksha like it looks really good like i really like the way you thought about your color psychology like you put up a point like you know your blue color represent trust and stuff like that it's really really awesome but i have some questions here on the first yeah. page here, okay. right yeah firstly i just want to understand yeah. if if a user comes down to this page mm -hmm. what are you trying to show first um i'm trying to show upcoming events as you can see that is what i've highlighted the most okay yes, so yes. um what it's usually like when I design, I go with hierarchy. Like I highlight that too much because what the user sees first is what they're attracted to, attracted to, right? So IEEE is all about their events. I wanted to highlight their events. Awesome. So what I feel, right? So once yeah. a user gets on to this screen, so yeah. it's just a feedback, right? Okay. So if, uh, what ha what's happening here is actually you're not guiding the eye. So okay. what I say guiding the eye is, Mm -hmm. When I come onto the screen, I am a bit confused to see which one to see the first. First of all, um, you know, do I have to read about us first? Do I read? Do I have to go to testimonials or do I quickly go to the upcoming events? Okay. So for me, everything is just kind of hi highlighting. But brilliant job on how you have done the entire thing. I really like the forms. I really like uh, how you have done the journey thing. You know, the entire story where you scroll and uh, you know once you hover that part, that's also really good. Yeah. Is that here? You know, you're not yeah. guiding the eye. Yes. That's the only small feedback I have on the in terms of UX. Yeah. I will leave you to uh, you know Divya and Vishnu. So yeah. other part is um, you know even the readability. For example, okay. and about us, right? Always try to keep images on the right or left rather okay. than keeping on the background. Like you know because the readability decreases. For okay. example, uh, for a person, uh, I my cognitive load increases when I'm trying to read this kind of text. Okay. Right? It looks brilliant. Not saying it doesn't look good. Yes. But I'm talking about UX, right? Yes. Sorry. So. That is it from my end and um, all the best, dude. Thank Raksha. you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Raksha. Uh, hey. So first of all, I even have the same feedback on the UI aspect of it. It looks very clean. Thank you. Uh, and the alignment also, I can see that you worked on like the alignment also is like perfect. Yeah. The typography also, I like the font style that you used in Gotham. Thank and, you. Thank you so much. And then there are like smaller details also that you have actually done on your pages, like the shadow, the circle, the lighter uh, background that you added behind the arrow. So these smaller details, yes. like to the whole, uh, just the feel of it. Uh, yes. Now coming to the again, now coming to the questions that you and I have, like so mm -hmm. here showing events, and then there's like a events page also, where. Yeah. It's would you expect the user to actually view the events like uh, there are two pages that i'm think like events are so upcoming events over here are, is this like uh, like what is the idea behind that okay uh, so you're telling uh, if i click on this um, what it should show me or what is the difference between yeah, this and yeah, this exactly. yeah. um uh, so what what ran through my mind when i was designing this is upcoming events are uh, very few like it's going to be recent events which are going to happen right and uh, what i thought would come under uh, these events are events which have already occurred so that is what i kept in mind but since you brought it up now i think it's it's a uh, it's it's a little incomplete so, no uh, i think like maybe you can try out some other approach probably like okay. i understand like why uh, you might want to show it. You might probably want to show in the home page yes, that yes. are about to come. So probably instead of having like a vertical scroll, which seems like uh -huh. as if this is the page that I'll be able to see all the events. Maybe uh -huh. if you have like uh, more of a uh, like uh, like it'll be better if you try something else. And yes, yes, yeah, and yeah, yeah, I, I got, I got it. Just something, but like you can definitely explore some other approach. Basically, the idea should be that when I come to this page, uh -huh. I should come to know that. Okay, these are the few, uh, few. Uh, these are the important events that are about to happen. Rather than the place where I'm actually come to know about all the past events as well, because currently, yeah, yeah the upcoming events does say that it's 
uh, it's only going to tell me about the uh, the all the events that are about to come. But yes, maybe yes. there's something that uh, can be relooked at. And yeah. then uh, again, uh, the legibility also for the testimonials, the mm -hmm. the contrast with the background okay. might not be enough. So that is something mm -hmm. that you can. Okay. Uh, yeah. So the, I'm telling you this because your pages are already really nice. So like now I'm actually yeah. on the smaller stuff. Yeah, and, I get it. So I'll say like there are two places. Okay, I see. Yeah, so in the events page, I saw that uh, I can see the date, but not a time. Like, is there a reason for that? Uh, not really. I forgot to put the time. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so that's one thing you can look at. And uh, okay. also, like, why uh, on the previous page, like, why is it like a single page viewport? Like the height? Why is it like a single, not, not this one, the previous one on the home page? Like, uh, you're, you're asking me why is it not scrollable? Yeah, yeah. Why did you choose this layout rather than the scrollable layout? Uh, okay. So initially, when they told me that it was supposed to be a sixteen is to nine aspect ratio, I thought it you're not supposed to increase the size. Like it's supposed to be uh nineteen twenty across ten. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. So it's basically there's a constraint over here. Yes. So since there was a constraint, I thought uh, I'm not supposed to keep it scrollable, and I'm supposed to keep it into a single frame. Got it. Got it. Makes sense. Uh, yes. Cool. I uh, just wanted to also understand, like, why did you choose like the circles and all? Like the it's just a design. The... Yes, it was design because if I remove the circle, I'm um I hope I'm allowed to show you that I'll just delete the circle, okay? And it it sort of looks like it's there's more there's just content, and I just try to put it for the sake of it. But when I put it, it's so something like, okay, it's creative. It's nice to look at. Got it. Makes sense. Uh, you could have also done that for the testimonials also, like instead of having the square. Oh, here. Okay. Uh, you could have done like used circle instead. Uh, like, it's not instead matching the theme. The whole, yeah, just, just the consistency with the whole thing. Okay. So, but, but it's like, it's already really nice. It's just like a smaller. Thank you. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's definitely, yeah, I'll take that into consideration. Yes. Cool. And uh, I'll see if I have any other feedback. Yeah, please. Yeah, so on the events page, uh, yeah, oh, not, yeah, not the events page, sorry, the student details page. Oh, student yeah, here, here. And the event report details. Uh -huh. mm, like, do you want to show both upfront or like, would, would it be like, okay, so it seems like I have to, do I have to fill both the forms or is it only one thing that I have to fill? Like the student. So, yeah, oh. actually, I had the same doubt uh, as you did. What? Okay. Uh, so what I did, I clarified the doubt myself. So I try to keep it like after this, is the user is going to be coming here. So it's going to be like stepwise. He's not going to di directly jump into this because it's not, it's not highlighted as you can see. Once mm -hmm. that I highlighted, is telling the user that you are here. You're supposed to start this, with this. So sort of clarify. Understood. That. So now the one question like uh, mm -hmm. thing is more, uh, it's a little more deeper, which is like, when does the next field get, get highlighted? So let's say that I'm typing my name, full name. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Does the student branch get highlighted? When they click on it. Um, yeah. Okay. So see, if, if I move, I, I'm, I could have showed it in detail if I would have designed that page, but let me tell you. After, if they leave this field empty, it's going to obviously tell them that you have to fill out your full name. So mm. there's going to be an error message that pops down below here. For each field? Uh, no, like, okay. So you're asking if I don't fill out these two and directly move to this, there's going to be two errors. Yeah. Uh, I don't think that would be there, but if I'd probably like click on submit, then that would happen. Have to think on that, yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's just some feedback on that. Yeah, I, I, I get it. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, and otherwise, yeah, yeah, dude, like uh, it looks very clean, minimalistic. I like the style that you actually used. Thank you. Uh, and just the smaller stuff only that. Uh, yeah. It's like, and I understand like there was time constraint and also it's like harder to do, think about everything within that time constraint also. Yeah. yeah. It has. So yeah, yeah, great job. Thank you. I. Yeah, I'll leave it to Divya if she has any other feedback. Hey, Raksha. 
Hi Divya. Hey, so fine. Congratulations for coming up with this piece. Looks really nice. Thank Just you. Just a few smaller points, like everyone. Uh-huh. Uh, number one, I feel in the upcoming events portion, the smallest mm-hmm. text font that you have used, the mm-hmm. font size is too small to be readable. Okay. And okay. because you have used white on blue, I think contrast is not that high to and the, yeah. so the contrast is a little low. And second, the font is also too small to be readable. So maybe okay, okay, yeah. And okay. Uh, similar to this, uh, in your testimonials for the subhead that you have used, I this think one, yeah, super super low. I, I can just see that something is written, but I'm not very sure what it is. Yes, yes, sorry. So maybe you can check with you know just go with the a bit more darker version of the same hue. Okay, okay, sure, definitely. Secondly, on the second page, uh, so here one thing I wanted to know. So as you said, first the user has to fill all the form inputs and then mm-hmm. he has to log in. So once I mm-hmm. log in, uh, I assume while clicking on the login page, I have, I'm taken to the new page. Yeah, the, uh, or a pop-up. Right. So when I'm done logging in, I, I am being returned to the same page, right? Which is the yeah. Yeah. So would the details be pre-filled by then? Because the page reloads when I come back here. So would you be retaining all the information or would the user need yeah. to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, that's the whole thing. So um, I thought if if they click on login, there's going to be a pop-up. So there's, there won't be any redirection. There'll just be a pop-up on the current screen. Hmm. And uh, after the lo- login is finished, uh, the submit button is going to come back to, it's going to be highlighted again. And uh, they'll be able to submit the form. So any reason for not telling the user to log in first and then fill the form? Uh, not really. It was mentioned under the details. Like uh, It was mentioned under the criteria that they're supposed to log in before they submit. But uh, there was no requirement of a login page. It was directly supposed to be just a submission form page. No, I mean either he can fill the inputs, then log in, then submit, or he can log in, then fill the inputs, and then submit. So, you know, maybe you can think about what sequence makes more ah, sense to okay. the user. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I get it. Makes sense. And similarly here, if you see the input fields you have, so let's mm-hmm. say first and the third one are a little narrow, and then okay. all of them are ending at, at the same width, right? So maybe you can yeah. make all of them equally wide so that there's another consistency. So the eyes can go in the same, you know, top to bottom and left okay. to right. Okay, okay. Yeah. Sure, definitely, yeah. I'll do that. I guess that was it from my end. Otherwise, looks. I mean, I really like the blue you have used. Thank you. Thank you. All the best. Thank you so okay. much, Divya. I I think that's it. Um, thank you so much, Raksha. Yeah. Thank you. All the best to your. Um, thank you and thank you so much, all the judges. Your feedback meant a lot. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So the our second participant is uh, Devika. Devika, are you there? Yes, yes, I'm here. Yeah, you can present. Uh, okay. Uh, do I have the option to share my screen? E- yeah. Okay, you are the presenter. You. Yeah, I'll be starting in a minute. Good evening, everyone. So, um. So is my is my screen shared? Yes. Uh, yeah, it is. So okay. So I'll be talking about my video. Uh, first, I have a presentation, and then I'll also be sharing a prototype just to, you know, make the event flow a bit more clearer. Cool, cool. So this is the first page, the landing page. I used blue, I mean, blue and yellow because, uh, you know, it's a student's page. So I wanted to keep it bright and trendy and something useful. That's why I chose yellow, blue and white colors. And uh, about the font, I only used one font, but I changed the weights in order to maintain, in order to establish the hierarchy. And for the sake of minimalism and consistency, I only used one font. So this will be the header. Uh, here, there's the about events and contact us page, and there's also a profile picture. I mean, uh, so if you log in, your profile will be seen here. So this will be the uh, first page that you see. And here you have the option of login and submit. This will be the, uh, I'm going to explain the um, 
ideal event flow. So first you'll have to come here and log in. And if you're not a, a member, then you'll have to sign up here itself. And after you do that, you go, go to the submit page to submit. And if you scroll down, you'll have this about us page where uh, the testimonials and other stuff will be included. In the PDF, they told us we are not supposed to use placeholders, so I did not include any information as such, and that's why I just wrote these blanks as content and this uh, picture uh, for the images. And then below that, you have the event space. This will be like a slideshow, which will just show the picture of the event and not many other things. And here I've written click to check out the events page, and this button will take you directly to the events page. And here again, a uh, call to action is important in every step. And that's why I place it here as well, saying click to submit the student branch details or event report details. And again, here also I've mentioned the call to action everywhere just in case they want to go back. And in the end, there's the footer page, footer uh, section, wherein the socials are mentioned. And again, uh, a link to the contact us page is there, and then the copyrights and the name of the section. So next is the events page. Here also, again, I've mentioned the headers, the main heading events. And then uh, since, again, I did not have much information to enter here, I just placed three, three uh, components here. One, like each event will be given in this form, a picture and then some description. Next is the submission page. They told us to keep two forms. So I made two separate forms here. And I used a bit of glass morphism here. So one will be the student branch details form. If they want to submit that, they can submit this. And at the same time, event report details. I thought these two will be two separate things. So I kept it as two separate forms. And again, I did not know what all things to be mentioned here. That's why I just, uh, as mentioned, that we needed five blanks. I made five blanks. And then this is a place where you can upload files. This is the contact us page again in similar manner. It's just the heading, an image of some kind, and then the form. Here will be the name, uh, your section or class, and then the message that you want to enter. So this is my basic design. So if I go to Figma. So this is how it will be seen. Um, the first page, and then you can scroll down to find the about us page, the events page. And then if you click on any of these back to top, it will take you back to top. If you, uh, the first thing you need to do is go to login and then login uh, that page you told is not to design. So I did not include that here. So once you log in, your profile will be seen here. Or if you're a new member, you can sign up. And then as soon as you log in, since I thought this page would be an important page for submission of details and other stuff. So I kept the submit button on the front page itself. So when you click on this, you'll go to the submit page, wherein you can fill in the details and attach the files and then submit. Oh. Oh, excuse so me, Lisa. Yeah? Sorry. The time is up. Okay, okay. So yeah, basically it the, it's the same thing. If you go to about, you'll go to about page. And if you click on events, it'll take you to events page. If you click on contact us, it'll take you to contact us page. So that's pretty much it. Sorry to have taken more time. Yeah, yeah that's it. Thank you. So yeah, there we go. I think it was really good the way you thought, like the, the design thinking part, right? The way yeah. you taught the design is something what I really liked, right? Definitely. Thank you. But what uh, I was missing was, uh, uh, you know, visual design. I'm again going to leave it to uh, Vishnu and Divya. So I'm going to uh, give only feedback on the UX part. Mm -hmm. So I really felt it would be awesome if you can give me more images, right? Because um, like other participants had put images, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So if, uh, you know, if, if there were images and if there were like, for example, there were placeholders for the contact form and all, would have made uh, things very easier for a judge to understand what this is. Yeah, was. the and thing is in the Word document, they told not to include uh, placeholders. And I thought that's, that is what they meant with placeholders. And that's why I didn't mention anything there. Yeah, I understand so, it happens. There could be a miscommunication for sure. Yeah. But 
nothing to worry like i think the thinking was there i see that at least it was scrollable enough things were not uh, thrown at me at the first uh, step and all so definitely i see that there is a scrolling once i scroll i can see the information i can uh, digest the information that's definitely mm. there i like about that and i just want to give more a uh, little bit of feedback on vd so little feedback so basically yeah. few things to concentrate on is hierarchy spacing mm-hmm. and the colors right for me what's happening is there is no proper hierarchy like uh, there there is an hi- hierarchy but there's no um you know uh, i don't feel it's, it's everything is so huge here right so okay. everything i can't see which one to concentrate on first right so mm-hmm. you might want to show that hierarchy that you know about us is really small i don't want to see about us right i, I just want to know that i'm in about us but i just want don't want to see about us in front of my face right i want to okay. see what is in about us right i don't want to concentrate the font is so big there that right? those mm-hmm. small small things, you know you might want to work on you know you can uh, there's something called um, white space right so you can give yeah, more yeah. white space like breathing room right so if you could have given a little more breathing room it would uh, design would have looked much better is what i feel but uh, that's it from my end dude i will leave it uh, rest of the feedback to vishnu and divya but a good job on thinking um, and uh, yeah that's it all the best dude there we go good job thank you thank you for your feedback as well yeah all the best thank you yeah there we go like good job on the thinking part um uh, like it's uh yeah thank you and uh yeah, i'll just uh come no. to the uh the certain yeah. things that even i would like to call out like few stuff that also is not really given importance but it's still important while you're designing is also the illustration pictures the copy mm-hmm. and like the placeholder is generally better not to use but i understand like uh, you got confused over there so yeah uh one thing uh, also now coming to so these things are something that you can look at uh also now why i was mentioning copy right is because submit is not clear enough what exactly am i submitting like where, like what do you mean by submit like probably the copy over there can be different i understand what okay, the okay. idea behind it is the idea i understand which is like it takes me to the submit form the mm-hmm. branch form but submit here itself might like imagine as if like you were telling a story right you might not tell the submit thing in the starting of itself to a person who's just landed on your screen that, okay yes uh, that is one thing uh, yeah, yeah uh, in the word they like they gave more emphasis to the submission page right so i thought the main intention behind having this website might be for the submission page itself that's why i kept kept it i gave it more importance here uh, okay god god yeah makes sense makes sense totally like uh, uh so student coordination so uh, okay now i'd like to understand who is the person you are designing for just so that uh, uh so that i don't get confused like is it the person uh, i triple e s c t team for their uh, the website for them okay so it, it's not someone who's coming new to the they already know about i yeah, i yeah. Really, right like they're already member of i triple e and they want to submit the details that's happening Got it. Got it. Got it. Makes sense. Then this works. So they are the target audience, I can say. Got it. Got it. Got it. Then this works. Like, uh, yeah. Then, uh, then it works because I just wanted to understand so that uh, I'm clear. Mm-hmm. I, I don't give unnecessary feedback on that. Uh, cool. So this works. A uh, few more things that I would say is that uh, uh, you can look at the sign up contact uh, the button part. Like it doesn't look like I can click on the sign up. like right now on the top no no because they told we are not supposed to include two extra pages that's why i couldn't make a login or sign up page so. no uh, i'm talking about the below the login and submit button yeah this was supposed to be a link yeah i, I couldn't make out like how to change it into a link so i just like oh it's fine yeah. that's fine it's supposed to be a link okay okay cool 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 so you have the, the word sign up here would be a link no the word here would be a link so when i click on that it will take me to the sign up page god god sure 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 no actually you can make the entire thing a link itself or you can just say sign up as the yeah. link itself like you don't have to include here also uh, which is fine uh, uh, also like uh, coming back to the vd part itself visual design the about what vaishnav was saying right the hierarchy i just wanted to yeah. point the hierarchy what he was mentioning as you can see on about events and contactors and the basically the top header you don't need to give it so much of importance we can reduce the hierarchy okay. over there we can also like which page am i in am i in about am i in events like where exactly am i that is a confusion uh, the user might have yeah this was supposed to be the header 
about Evans contact yeah. the nav bar part yeah yeah the nav bar uh, which was supposed uh-huh. to be the header this one yeah. the viral uh, iit iit pre